Hey guys, welcome back to the Domicon channel. Before we show you the latest and greatest of the um, next generation of Scratch Build Titans, I just kind of wanted to do a genesis here. Uh, this was the first Titan that I created. It was a Warhound Titan. It was also the first Scratch Build model I ever created. Uh, pretty pumped up. Again, you guys have probably seen this, but it's got the LED lights up top to show off the structure points and void shields remaining. Uh, and the arm arms were detachable so that uh, this model and the next model I show you their weaponry could be interchangeable. Uh, I had a few weeks to actually put this one together. Again it was my first mo model so pretty pumped by the way it came out. This was the second one I created. This was my first Reaver Titan. It has, you know, it's, it's a very very flat looking model but I literally did it completely by hand, threw, threw it all together in about nine hours and it's because between playing my first and second apocalypse game I had one week and I literally had about two days to put this together so again I'm pretty pretty pumped about how it looks out but let's get to the next generation here we go a lot more substantial scratch build model here let's look at it from the side right now it's configured with the Vulcan Mega Bolter and the plasma weapon that the Reaver Titan can handle. You notice that it's slightly, it's quite a bit smaller than the other one. This one is actually probably closer to the correct size, realizing that there will be armor plating that kind of goes over top of this, so it'll be still slightly taller than it looks right now, but it's, it's a little bit closer to the right height. Some of the features that are in here are that the weapons are detachable. Uh, so, for instance, here is the double bar barrel turbo destructor lasers for the Reaver Titan. And each one of them ha is threaded so that the hands can literally, the weaponry can literally come off by rotating it off and then putting on the other weapon. Some other features the plasma weapon, you can kind of see down there, it's actually backlit, so it kind of glows a little bit. You could see a little bit better if I didn't have direct sunlight on this model. The other thing is that to indicate void shield and structure points, I went ahead and added these magnetized gems, so each one of these represents a structure point, and each one of these in indicates an existing void shield. Now, because I'm noticing how many are on this one little bit, I'll probably end up putting another metallic slot on there and breaking up the void shields and the structure points. This is just the structure of the model. Uh, again, I'm hoping to put armor carapace here, uh, as well as this is going to end up being a banner that's going to come off of it. This is trying to be the Reaver Titan as it's indicated in Bell of Lost Souls add-on for 1100 points. You get a Reaver Titan with six structure, four void shields, and only two instead of three weapons. So, this is where we're at. I am really pumped up about this. I'm trying to actually see if I can construct this whole thing for under $75. Right now, what you're seeing right here is about hmm, $40. But I, I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do with the face. Uh, I need to figure out how I'm going to put on the armor carapace on top, as well as dealing with the banner. So as soon as that's done, we will then start painting it up and flock in the base so you don't see the metallic strips. And we will then come back to this model when it's completed and show it off to you guys. Alright guys, have a good one. 